Okay, so right now you know my current plant setup. I have this white cabinet, this little fireplace that I never use, and my glass cabinets. Now, I'm actually heading to Ikea today, and I'm going to be picking up some new things because I want this whole wall to feel very connected and very clean looking. I really like how my philodendron wall is looking with the all white, so I'm really looking to do the exact same thing. Now, a lot of you might be sad <laughs> that I'm not going to be using the glass cases anymore. So my reason behind that is while my anthuriums are perfectly fine in there and they're very happy in there, they're just as happy being out here. So I don't see any problem with just kind of making this my ideal space. And it's not like these cabinets are going to waste. Before they were for my plants, they were actually for my comic figures. So they're pretty much going to be going back to being that. <laughs> and I'm really, really excited to have my new setup set up. <laughs> So my reason for getting rid of this fireplace is not that it's I'm getting rid of it entirely. It's because I feel like it doesn't suit this particular room. I could utilize this space way better, and I already have an idea of exactly how I'm going to do that. So I'm super excited about it. I'm just moving this one simply to another room. So I'm very excited to kind of set up my new cabinets, and Chris should be here any moment, and we're going to be heading out, and I'm super excited. <laughs>
Okay, so at the moment I have things roughly in the place I would like them. I think the only thing that I'm going to change going forward is there's some pots I have coming that they're going to be changing out to fit a different kind of aesthetic that I prefer much more. <laughs> so I'll probably not be using these kind of pots, but more like along a more rustic look. And also these are all my anthuriums. I do have some of my greenhouse that I have just so I can have there for some extra love during winter. And I'll be moving those out later. And also I'll be doing an updated anthurium winter growth video. So I'll talk about all the kind of new growth I've had. And there's certainly been a lot of changes in this room. So there's been a lot of old leaves that have fallen off, new leaves that have grown in, and some have really just started growing for me. <laughs> so it's strange, it's been a pretty good winter. I think the only issues I've had is some minor kind of like winter temperature stress bacterial issue and I have stuff that I have coming to treat that but I'll also be making a video about that. I'm gonna have a whole video that talks about all the different things that can be wrong with your anthuriums and different ways to kind of treat those things so that'll be a really intensive and long video and hopefully you'll enjoy that. I have also more anthuriums that are just in this room in general but we're focusing on this side today so <laughs> but yeah so this is kind of just my new setup. Hope you guys like it. I think it'll look, I mean, it looks great now to me, but I think it'll look much nicer once some of those areas are filled. I plan to get rid of that metal bar and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have kind of like some ceiling hangers there or if I'm gonna have just straight wall hangers. I think that would be neat to put there. It's a lot of just wasted space. <laughs> So I really hope you guys like this video. I've been really excited about making this more uniform since I've done my other wall more white as well. So I really like the aesthetic of it, the matching part. So <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Let me know your thoughts below and thank you so much for watching.